Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today I have something very exciting for you to look at. This is probably the number one up-to-date mod that I've seen that is so awesome and sweet. If anyone was wishing for this mod in the past, now here it is for 1.7.3. Uh, it is called the Zeppelin mod. I have done a video on this in the past. It was taken down, so I figured I would go ahead and re-upload a different orientation, different viewpoint of this video. So, here we go. This is just a basic platform that I have, made out of nine blocks, and we need a controller. So, how you make the controller, yes, I, I cheat. Uh, <laughs> I cheated to get the materials, my bad guys. How do you get the controller, the craft controller, is you put cobblestone on top, wood planks on bottom. It doesn't matter where they are in the crafting box as long as they are in this orientation. Alright, so we have the craft controller. Now, as long as you place the craft controller on wool, uh, there's some other material. Wood. Oh, no you don't. Eh. No you don't. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Alright, good. Anyways, as long as you place the craft controller on wool, uh, wood, there's some other materials you can place it on too. It will connect to or bind to. So if I right click, it says found craft of size 10. That means it found 9 wool blocks and it found this craft controller. So, the controllers are pretty easy, easy said and done. You use the number pad on your keyboard, and that's the only way so far to use it. I think you can rearrange the numbers within a text file, but I'm not sure. I haven't done it yet, so... Anyways, you use plus to go up, or ascend. You use minus to descend, if that's even a word. Uh, you use four to go left, and then six to go right, and it's all by uh, incremental. So if I keep pressing it, it'll go faster. If I keep pressing the other way. And you can also use 5 to stop everything. And 8 to go forward. There is no reverse. I'm guessing because Zeppelins never did have reverses. So, reverse. So, that's probably why it wasn't implemented. But uh, this is probably one of the best mods that I've seen to date. It's really awesome, guys. You can basically do this out of anything that you want to do it out of. Uh, there is some uh, restrictions, though. Uh, it doesn't bind to uh, grass, it doesn't bind to dirt, it doesn't bind to sand or stone or monster spawners, anything that uh, has values such as um, chests uh, and other items that carry values, even ladders and other things, uh, have some weird effects with this mod. And as soon as you right click on it, it uh, reorientates itself into the world, into the blocks. So. It's pretty awesome, guys, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and go through this and show you my creations over here. You might see a rough implementation of a uh, hot air balloon. And then I got the NASA jet over here. Well, this is like my uh, space home 1.0 that I built. So first, let's take a little bit of a ride on our hot air balloon. And I'll show you uh, some of the effects that happen whenever you have uh, these posts. Uh, on your ship. So if I right click on here, you'll see all the posts reorientate to a different setting. And it, they're not stuck like that. If I right click again, it goes back to normal. So, okay, you right click. I can go up. You can do circles all I want. I can. You can even move around when you're on this mod. But for some reason, I guess uh, these posts do not like to stay in the same area. So if I right click again, all the posts will reorientate. I need to get back down though, so I'll go ahead and ascent down. And then I'll right click again. So there you go, that is... And, huh, I guess I didn't make a real way to get off of this thing. Ooh, ouch. That is my hot air balloon, basic. It's not big enough to even make it look more like a hot air balloon, but hey, it'll work for right now. And this is my Space Home 1.0. I think it's pretty neat. Now, like I said, chests and uh, monster spawners and all that, uh, you can't really use because and I, I can even show you. I'll go ahead and make a chest real quick. <laughs> make a chest. Uh, create a chest real quick. And say I put an item in the chest. Like, I'll put all these blocks in the chest. So these items are in the chest. They're really secured in the chest. And for easy sake, I'll put it right here. See the items fall out of the chest because it just. Woo! I did not mean to do that. 
Now I need a white. Oh well, it'll stay like that. It's fine. Anyway, see, items fall out of the chest, so you really can't use chests on these ships. So, unfortunately, hopefully in the future, they'll change that. Uh, but you can use the crafting bench, and of course you can use this. I would not advise having anything in here on the furnace. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure you'll lose those items too. Also, the uh, ladders go away, and the door goes away. So I wouldn't advise parking and leaving it running. <laughs> you might have some creepers coming in but as soon as you uh put it back your ladders come back and your door comes back too which i should close my door even though it won't really matter yes door closed and we will sail off into the sunset guys perfect view let's go up and that's probably high enough and we'll go forward and that's it guys it uh works pretty cool you can walk around all you want while, while it's moving, except for I just messed up right there, and I'll probably hit a tree or something. Yeah, I think I just hit a tree because I can't get back up there. Oh, well, guys, uh, this is an awesome mod. I advise you. Whoa, I'm still moving. Ooh, this is scary. Everything's all glitchy on me. Bye. I'll see you. I don't know where I'm going. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, guys. Thanks very much. See ya.